grade one math lesson for the week of May 25th to May 29th. This is for lesson one for students following the Bridges program. In today's lesson, we will add one and two digit numbers by using a number line and place value patterns in order to add fluently. You've been using number lines in first grade to help you count on and to add and subtract. Sometimes we start our number lines all the way at zero, but in today's lesson, we will actually be starting our number lines at numbers that are not zero and counting on. We're gonna be using place value patterns today. So that means we need to think about tens and ones. And we're doing that in order to add fluently, which means we want addition to be easy, quick, accurate, and flexible. Look at the patterns in the popsicle sticks in the pictures. What patterns do you see? Maybe you said that in the first group, there were six groups of five. In the second group, there were five groups of five. And in the third group, there was only four groups of five. So the total sticks went from 30. You could figure that out by counting five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then with one less group of five, the second set has 25. And the third set has 20 total popsicle sticks. So what patterns did you see? You might have noticed that each set of popsicle sticks has one less group of five so the pattern is counting back by five. What would the next three pictures look like? You might have been thinking about taking away one group of five in each one. So our next group would have only three groups of five. How many popsicle sticks would that be? That's right, that's 15. Then the next one would only have two groups of five, and that would be 10 popsicle sticks. And then the next one would only have one group of five, which would be five popsicle sticks. Create your own pattern. You can comment on someone else's pattern with what comes next. Share your pattern with somebody around you. Let's review our path problems. Last week in lesson one, we solved multiple Hansel and Gretel path problems. While they walked, Hansel and Gretel noticed that the fences in the park were 10 steps long. The benches were five steps long. Trash cans were two steps long, and flower pots were one step long. When they got home, they made this key so that they would remember how long each object was. Last week, we solved problems where we figured out how many steps long parts of the path were based on the objects that were in the path. Last week in lesson one, we solved multiple Hansel and Gretel path problems. Let's review what we did. While they walked, Hansel and Gretel noticed that the fences in the park were 10 steps long. The benches were five steps long. The trash cans were two steps long and the flower pots were one step long. When they got home, they made a key so they would remember how long each object was. Today, just like we did last week, we will use a number line to help us measure the length of the path that they walked. 
Remember, last week we learned that we do not have to add the numbers in one specific order because of the commutative property of addition. The commutative property of addition says that we can add the numbers in any order and the sum or total will be the same. This might help us add more efficiently. Also, in today's lesson, our paths will not be starting at zero. Each problem will give us the starting number or steps where each section begins. This example starts at 17. After walking 17 steps, Hansel saw a bench, which is five steps long, four flower pots, which are each one step long. So together, that's four steps. And then another bench, which is five steps long. This number line shows us how we would add the objects in the order they are arranged in the picture. We'll start with 17, since Hansel already walked 17 steps before he saw the bench. And then we'll add a group of five, which is 22. 22 and a group of four is 26. And 26 and a group of five is 31. However, it's easier to add the objects in a different order. I would like if we added the two benches first, because five and five makes a group of 10, and then we can add on the flower pots. So remember, we're starting at 17 steps in, and then we will add our two benches, and then we'll add the four flower pots. So five plus five equals 10. And I remember, from what we've learned already this year, that it's really easy to add multiples of 10. So now I'm going to do 17 plus 10. 17 and 10 more is 27. To do that, I've just pictured a hundreds chart in my mind and I pictured jumping down a row of 10. So don't forget, after we get to 27 steps, we have to add four more steps from our four flower pots and 27 and four more equals 31. So by the time Hansel got to the end of the second bench, he had walked 31 steps. This time when, now it's time for you to try it. Log into Schoology to check for your path problems. You can use the Math Learning Center number line app to help you with your try it assignment. That was the app that we used in today's lesson. It is loaded as a link on your Chromebooks. Ask your teacher if you need help. After practicing your path problems, it will be time for your assessment for the day. Log into Schoology to check for your assessment from your teacher. You can use the Math Learning Center number line app again to help you with your assessment. And as always, make sure you submit your work to your teacher. Thanks for tuning in to today's lesson. Hope to see you next week on BCPS TV.